This is, uh, uh, you know, thousands of years of culture and human creativity and human wisdom and human faith, which is encapsulated in the expression of a temple. The real change is when different cultures deal with each other more respectfully, more equally, more fairly. And for me, that is an important expression of that, what we call rebalancing. I, w I would take an enormous amount of uh, you know, for me, a personal fulfillment at seeing this. I want to point out, everything literally divides us. Countries divide. Cultures divide. Our food divides. Dressing divides. Philosophies divide. But only one thing unites us. Love is love is love in any culture, in any country. Faith is faith is faith everywhere, now and forever. So the temple is based on values and most predominant value is the value of harmony and tolerance. It was a wonderful experience. The fact that about 30 ambassadors, along with their spouses and family and so many other diplomats, took out time to visit the Baps Hindu temple in Abu Dhabi, itself says how grand an evening it was. Because this temple is not just a temple. It's about the relationship between two countries. It's about the Indian community. It's about the cultural connect between India and the UAE. It's also a symbol of the friendship between the vision of our leaders. I, I must say it's beautiful. It's breathtaking. It's one of the most amazing things that I ever saw. And the fact that it's built here in the Middle East, the heart of the Middle East, it means a lot. We have uh, so many temples and shrines in Japan, but this temple is totally different because Japanese sense of aesthetic beauty usually centers around simplicity. But I can see in this temple a lot of gaiety, which also help us lead our lives to happiness. So I see the difference, but I'm amazed and I'm overwhelmed with this magnitude and exquisite, exquisiteness of the work. I'm a Buddhist and I, I can feel the energy here that uh, this is a very vib vibrant place. I was wondering how intricate and how beautifully uh the carvings have been made and also which represents countries, uh, India and UAE's uh, main national uh, 
you know, animals and uh, like like the falcon, uh, which was very uh, interesting for me to see. So I'm very surprised that this being so big and very nicely done, the pillars and everything, uh, the stone carvings uh, really touched me. It's entirely magnificent and then nothing gets repeated. So everything is unique in its own way and it's from the carvers probably that imprint their own spirit into what they're doing. What amazed me and, and Louisa as well is just the, the incredible detail in the carving and it is a beautiful design and uh, just the, the, the closeness and the design with, with the, in the relationship between India and uh, UAE. Well, I think it's the link between the different cultures obviously and uh, between uh, the two, uh, yes, the two, the, the two countries and their people, and you see that through the calves, uh, through uh, everything that you see, uh, actually at that uh, late stage of the of the building, and uh, no, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. I got a very strong sense of the intricacies of the construction, as well as, of course, the faith that is driving the production of this magnificent structure. You know, I've never been in India. This is an opportunity to see also historical temples. It has been a, a huge surprise to, to see the works, the way uh, it has been built, this beautiful temple in a traditional way. You have no idea that a Hindu temple in Abu Dhabi is this magnitude. It's really, really overwhelming and it's super structure and a beautiful place to worship for everyone to come and experience this. I like the fact that there was one who said it reminded him of, of how you do Lego. I'm from Denmark, so, so Lego is a Danish brand, so I thought that that, that, was, uh, that was one way. And the other thing was that how the supporting pillars actually have the carvings, so you don't both have the construction part of it and also the images. What I can tell you is, I feel many of those ambassadors and their spouses are going back home tonight and they're going to sit and they're gonna contemplate on what they saw tonight. And that's going to be the conversation with many of their friends, with embassy staffs. And so goes the story of the Swaminarayan Temple. Really, I didn't expect to find here a pearl in the desert, which represents so much of the humanity, of the skills of Indian people. It tells a story that we're, you know, we're one family, uh, you know, regardless of our own religions or beliefs, uh, where we're coming from. Uh, it's a beautiful story. I really love that. It's a revival of the civilization, and it's also the you know, spread of love and faith. We are happy to be part of this history. This temple's commitment to harmony is a, is a critical message around the entire world and including in this uh, in this region it's a message that is inclusive that is open that is welcoming to people of all faiths who uh, come to this place with good intentions and that's an absolutely critical message um, at a time when the world is emerging from uh, from covid there are dis political disturbances, social disturbances in the world, and I know that the message of harmony that this temple is sending will make a very positive contribution to, uh, to creating a better world for all of us. They, they, they cut across religions, nationalities. It therefore has to be nothing else but a sample, an example of harmony. I think that, that every activity Everything that, like this great temple, can contribute to the harmony in the region. And harmony in the region means harmony in the world. I think it's unbelievable in these days.